uh, today. We've got oil dropping about 6% because it wasn't the Iranians, but the Iraqis to blame. The Iraqis blurting out today, gentlemen, we have record high production, yay. But what does that mean? That means lower oil. But are we seeing a break in this pattern where crude and equities, and I'll start with you, Sarge, being attached to the hip are starting to, as we're using the term, decouple here, yes or no? Well, we're, we're definitely starting to decouple. I mean, we're seeing a much lesser degree of decay here for equities than we are for the commodity oil. And if you take energy and financials out of the S&P 500 today, we're having an okay day. We're going sideways if you do that. Okay, I can't wait to hear what Scott Shelley says about this. Are you seeing the same? <laughs> are you seeing the same visions that Sarge is seeing? Well, welcome to the new America where mediocre is just fine. Um, I would say this. I, I, think, I, I think that while, while they might have looked like they're decoupling today, uh, and we have a Fed meeting in the middle of the week. So I think stocks are going to hunker down until we hear what the Fed might, may, might say or not say. I think that's absolutely the case here. And at the same time, oil is reacting to natural factors. We've got a global slowdown. Uh, we, we're not seeing the demand pick up like we would like to see. A more supply on the market. Those types of things don't matter to what the Fed's going to say on Wednesday, but it does to equities. Right. Uh, the Fed meeting starts tomorrow. It's a two-day meeting. Uh, Stephen slash Sarge uh, talking about what's going on here. We're also getting Friday, I guess, a GDP print. So Scott seems to feel that this is, you know, great. So X, it's like saying X food when food prices were so high, we see inflation pretty good. But again, maybe we're not seeing that decoupling that we were looking for. I think we've actually seen some small evidence of that going past the week, the past week or so. I'm, as a trader, you can kind of pick your spots. So if you know one spot's going to give you a hard time, well, you just don't pick it. So we can ignore the energy sector and trade other sectors. And let's go back to what the Fed. What can the Fed do? We have we had a Dallas Fed today minus 34, right? The Ugly. Fed can't do Ugly. anything for quite some time. Scott, uh, he just talked about picking his spots. I think that was, a, that was a slight on you and your spotted jacket, man. Okay. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a heifer a cow, not a Dalmatian. But anyway, <laughs> what I say is we, we, we've, we've got a situation. Yeah, there are parts that are other parts that are worse than other parts. Right. But at the end of the day, you're going to get stocks cheaper. I mean, you can pick them today. You can feather in your position tomorrow. But at the end of the day, you're going to get stocks cheaper because, yes, the, the numbers that came out today, bad. Everything that we've seen, CPI, PPI, really no inflation out there. Industrial production, bad. Okay, Where so is no, all no this bottom, good Scott? news? You're not seeing any kind of bottom no. in here? No, no, well, I'm not going to call about them. No way. Go ahead, Steve. Well, I'll tell you this. We just hit 1890 in S&P 500. That is a, an important spot. If this, if this doesn't hold and breaks to the downside, we are going to have to feed the beast here in the short term. Okay, so 1890, everybody. Mark that level here. And right now I'm looking at about uh, 1892, 93, 91 now. We might not hold it, Sarge. And then what? Uh, you, we, would you feather in names here? People who thought they could do that last week didn't quite pick that bottom. Well, you know what? I will say let's go to 1876 or so if 1890 doesn't hold. Now, if 1890 does hold, then I think we test 1901. It's, that's strictly a technical game when, it, when volume is really kind of light today, and a lot of traders didn't even come in because of the snow. Well, mediocre is the new awesome. Right. Yeah, just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, thank you. Thank you so much, Sarge. Good to see both of you. Sm Snowmageddon is finally over.